In this video, we'll go over the distance quality function, as well as the quality trigger volume. I'm using a free asset here of another beautiful sci-fi environment, the link is in the description. I've added one ultra volumetrics actor here, and made it look like some poisonous gas. We can set the volumetric fog quality in the editor, with the editor utility widget. Let's set it to low for now, and look at the enable distance quality function. When we enable this, a timer will be created on begin play, and it will check once per second how far the player is from this particular ultra volumetrics actor. The quality preset determines which quality it will jump to if we come within the quality trigger distance. To visualize this quality trigger distance, we can scroll down to the debug section and enable debug quality distance. This will create a sphere, which will be visible in both the editor and play in editor. The size of the sphere will update in real time when we change the quality trigger distance. Let's set it to a certain distance and test it. Let's disable the debug sphere for now. You may have noticed a little pop when the quality transition happened. Unfortunately there is not much we can do about it, so I advise you to use these quality triggers wisely, and use them at points where there might not be fog on screen at that particular point. Let's enable show FPS so we can see the performance impact it has. I've set the quality distance trigger to ultra, which is probably only meant for powerful systems and sequencer rendering. Let's disable distance quality and learn how to use the quality trigger. Let's drag a quality trigger into our level. We can choose between a box shape or a sphere shape that will act as the trigger. Just like in the ultra volumetrics actor, we set the desired quality here when the player crosses over into the trigger volume. Now let's scale it and place it where we want it. Let's press play and test it. If we enable the debug checkbox on the quality trigger, we can visualize the quality trigger volume even when playing. This can be useful when testing. Be aware that using the quality trigger and distance quality trigger will have an effect on all the volumetric fog. Unfortunately, we can't change the quality of individual volumes, as we are essentially changing a value that is normally changed in a settings or options menu, but instead we do it in real time. When adding ultra volumetrics to a new project for the first time, the ultra volumetrics fog quality can be quite low, this is because the default Unreal Engine fog quality is quite low. I recommend running the Editor Tools Editor Utility widget to instantly solve it. And lastly, another thing to be aware of is that setting the editor quality in the Editor Tools will not set it to that quality setting in a package game. It's a good idea to create an option for volumetric fog quality in your game's menu. Good luck and see you in the next video.